previously on Eden. We're running out the door! Because we've chosen a future with no regrets. Now here's the question, where did she get the clothes? Did we pick, pick them up while we were on the run? Did we just have random women's clothes at our house? You're not a hindrance! And I'm just saying this right now, this, this look on her face right now, that's extremely cute. You call it fun. This is fun? Yes, it is fun. Have you ever played Harvest Moon? That game is super fun! And there, I saw... Ah! Freelance journalist! Sure she is! And our story continues. Hey, 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 everybody out there! In YouTube land, Jake, the one man band is back again. Look at that face. This is a cute face. We're back in Eden. Uh, Shion collapsed. She needs to sleep. Shion fell asleep as soon as she lay down in her bed. Sounds like me. I held my hand against her forehead. Her temperature felt like it had gone up since earlier. I needed something to cool her down. Like a damp cloth? Um, here. What are you, helping me? Look at that face that we have. That face is just like, I don't care. I don't like you. Dude. Maya slowly opened the door and came in carrying a wash basin. Sorry I used this without asking, but will this help? Oh. Yeah. I took the wash basin full of cold water, wet the towel hanging from the edge, and placed it on Shion's forehead. Mm -hmm. This should be a slight improvement. Her face was red, but she didn't look like she was in pain. What's wrong with her? It's just a cold. It's fine. She'll get over it. Shion has a sheltered upbringing. She's not accustomed to life in these mountains, so it's been a little hard on her health. Plus, she's dying. We know that. That wasn't a lie. Shion seemed pleased with her life here, but she was likely pushing herself by working in the fields and walking around outside. Yeah, but it builds the immune system! It'd be best to let her recuperate here a while. More importantly, you. I have a name, Maya. I don't care about your name, but you didn't run away. I told you I came to collect information. Why would I run away? This is why we should use this resource, Ryu. Maya puffed out her chest like it was the most obvious thing in the world. Actually, what was your game plan if I ran away? You're pretty uh, naive for ex-special forces, aren't you? Do you really think you could get away from me? Do you even see me? Uh, she was lost for words and slowly backed away. Even if you ran away, I would have caught you long before you made it off this mountain. At that point, there would be no need to hold back. Well, I guess what is don't really matter, do they? <laughs> no, they don't. You're the one who brought it up in the first place. Oh, did I? <laughs> I didn't realize. Just to let you know, there's no laughing. This is no laughing matter to you, for you. Shut up! I'm trying to sleep. Something came flying at me with, at the same time as Mion's, as Maya's sharp tone. Oh, dang! Pillow attack! I dodged it and it hit Maya smack dab in the face. Don't make noise when someone's trying to sleep. Ah. Uh, Dude, that's pretty awesome. That that that's pretty funny. I just whoosh, I could just see me like just Matrix. Whoosh, it flies past my head and it hits Maya. Maya looked embarrassed as she picked the pillow thrown at her from the floor. Bloody. Sorry. I might have been thrown off my pace for a while due to our sudden intruder. I had a to quit being petty and get back to my daily duties. Yeah, gotta till them fields. Gotta grow them crops, man. Gotta do all that fun stuff. While today's work, with today's work finished, I returned home as nighttime set in and decided to make dinner first. 
For ingredients, I had dehydrated rice, leftover chicken I had slaughtered the other day, and a few wild greens. Dude, that's all you need. You can make arroz con pollo from that. Uh, Shion probably couldn't eat very much, but this should be plenty. I mixed wild veggies and minced chicken tenders, seasoned with salt and pepper, into a lightly simmered, uh... Is that, is that, would that be porridge? And covered them with, and covered it to steam. After steaming, I added a small amount of s salt and soy sauce as flavor. I guess this'll do. Well, what about the rice? You need the rice. I tried a spoonful of the porridge. Okay, so it, it, I, I think it is porridge. Maybe I should add an egg for nutrition. No, it might taste a bit too rich if I did that. Come to think of it, we have some pickled plums I found at that vacant home uh, nearby, too. I wasn't sure of whether Shion was able to eat them or not, so I decided to make sure make them a side dish rather than add them. You know, just in case she doesn't want them. But, hey, you gotta eat your fruits and veggies, Shion. How else are you gonna grow up to be a nice, strong lad like me? Shion. Huh? Shion moved her neck just a little and looked this way, still bedridden. How is your fever doing? Mm. That doesn't bode well. And you're in too big of pajamas! <laughs> Sorry, that's just so cute. Shion picked herself up as she gave a very uh, faintly incomprehensible reply. Her movements were sluggish, and she didn't look like she had recovered much since this afternoon. Let's check your temperature before you eat. I'm hungry. Yes, I know this, but we have to check your temperature, young lady. Her eyes were focused on the tray in my hands. Well, it was great. Uh, <laughs> she had an appetite, at least. Here. Be careful not to drop it. I slaved long and hard for this meal. It looks delicious. Shion smiled and took the tray. Getting to see her smile made it all worthwhile. That rhymed. Getting her to smile made it all worthwhile. Da, 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 da. I wasn't entirely pleased on how uh, uh, domesticated I had gotten lately, though. Itadakimasu. Thank you for the meal. Iutakimas. Ah. Yeah. She picked up a spoonful of porridge, blew on it to cool it down a little, and put it in her mouth. Mm, oh, 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 stop it! You're too cute. Uh, yeah, it's delicious. Okay. Is it? Not only was she pleased at the lightly seasoned porridge, she seemed to enjoy the pickled plums as well. After that, she kept uh, moving her spoon in silence. She ate every last drop. Good girl! Ain't no food gonna go to waste. Uh, sipped at her post-meal green tea and took a breath. Thank you for the meal. You ate quite a bit. That's good. It's because I didn't eat this afternoon. Please take care of this. Yeah. I took the tray from her and put it aside. After that, I had her take her cold medicine and check... Uh, her health as usual. I guess you just have a temperature. Uh, it doesn't look like it's uh, that big a deal. Did you hear that? Did you hear that girl out? What? What do you mean, hear that girl out? Shion suddenly posed an off topic question. Oh, hear her out, as in like hear her story, okay. She's done this on occasion for a while now, so I wasn't uh, practi particularly surprised. Yeah. No, I haven't yet. Did you go out after I fell asleep? Yes. You can tell? You're all dirty. I woke up a few times unable to sleep, but there was no sign of you in the house. I see. Shion just might have been more sensitive to the presence of others than I was. I had honed my senses during my life in the army, but it was... But it must have been an innate ability of hers to just sense other people. Maybe she can sense life force. Don't you go out without telling me. 
You say you that, but I can't that. wake you either. So we're at an impasse. Mm -hmm. Don't. There was the one time at the research facility Elka left without saying anything and shown, uh, left to find her. I'm sorry. I'll be careful from now on. I'll wake you up even if you don't want to be woken up. Yeah. Shion nodded and her expression became tense. So, you want to scope out the mountain? Oh. Yeah. You know, forget the fields, go to the mountain. She easily guessed why I had gone out. No sooner than I... Uh, no sooner than I thought she had been acting childish did she go back to thinking uh, pragmatically. No, it wasn't just her thoughts. Her entire disposition seemed to have changed. How was it? Several of the wires I set were cut. It must have been Maya's doing. Of course, those traps are Mir's child's play. It's all I had! I can't dig a tiger pit or a spike trench. No, it's not like I'm setting them for fun. My bet is even if the military unit infiltrated, you'd annihilate them with these. Traps or not, uh, this is your turf. Yes, and I would bring my animal friends. Me and the wild chickens will take them on! Dude, you seen those chickens in Legend of Zelda? They will mess you up. I wonder if it would really go so well. I tilted my head. We have a geographical advantage, and I have come up here in many emergency. I have come up with many emergency tactics, but in combat, I am not all preparations would necessarily prove efficient. As far as another look at the mountain defenses go, there were no signs of a large group of people infiltrated the mountain, and it was all quieter on the perimeter. I don't find anything particularly out of the ordinary. Can Maya be trusted? It's too soon to tell. There could be a unit on their way as, here as we speak. There was a communications device in Maya's luggage, and it had been modified to broadcast a more powerful signal. But due to the electromagnetic interference, even the military would be hard-pressed to detect it. Good. It would probably be difficult to get in touch with anyone with that with her device. My intuition tells me she's fine, but how does she look to you, Ryo? She doesn't have the eyes of a killer. You know, that's one thing. And we know how to spot those out, because they're exactly like our eyes. I see. From what I've seen of her body, she has a decent amount of muscle for a uh, for how slender her arms are. Hmm, strange. You touched her body? Yes, I patted her down. I thought we were, uh, I thought we already established this. Hmm? Uh, yeah, is there something wrong with that? She didn't reply, but instead stared at me with a sharp glare, which seemed to be trying to look through to my soul. Wasn't something... Was something nagging her? Yeah, because you touched another girl's body! Duh. Eventually, she softly shook her head. What? It's nothing. I was just wondering. Sure you were. Continue. Certain aspects of her... Resi re resemble Lavi. We can't let her guard our guard down just because she's a woman. I mean, all I've been or all I've been around is women this entire game, and each one of them has either been smarter than me, has deceived me in some way, or tried to kill me, or all three. So, there you go. Besides that, there's just something about her that makes me less than sure she's a novice. The aura surrounding Maya and her desire to collect data on Xion. It wasn't normal. But of course, what a uh, without that drive, she probably couldn't have made it to such a remote location unaided. Even if she is uh, hypothetically harmless, we cannot eliminate the possibility that she can call in someone else. So following your logic, you distrust Maya. Yes, I have no reason nor basis for trusting her at present. 
What's she doing right now? Before I left this afternoon, I tied her up and tossed her in the storeroom and out back. Yeah, I was just about to say, I tied her up, put her in the basement. But we don't have a basement. We have a storeroom, so. Did you do anything funny to her? What do you take me for exactly? And what do you mean by funny? Like, come on. Maya's cute? Yes, I will admit that, but what kind of. What kind of near duel do you take me for, Shion? Her appearance and gender, gender aren't the problem. It, I just want to get the truth out of her. That's all. I wondered just how serious Shion was being. Elika's jokes had been pretty harsh too, but Shion's lack of facial expressions made it really hard to tell whether she was joking or being serious. You don't have to get so worked up. What? I suspect you'll you're uh uns you'll upset you're upset you let a trespasser make it through. It even seems like you thoroughly how thoroughly you examined her was partially your way of taking your anger out on her. Am I wrong? No, you are not wrong. I'm pretty sure that's what the dealie was. You have to be able to cherish a girl. You're not a soldier anymore, so you don't have to doubt or hurt people at random anymore. Come on, just be a decent person. But what if everything Maya said was a lie? It's not as though you or I will be less of a person if we're tricked. Besides, this is not about value. You'll exhaust yourself if you never trust anyone. This is true. You should, we should examine her thoroughly as long as there's still room for doubt. I'm just saying, don't be a slave to doubt. You're the one who set me free. I'm happy that you protected me. However, I want you to be free as well. Free from doubt, even. She knitted her brows in sadness and grabbed my sleeve tightly. Her hand was so slender and small. Do you want to leave this place? I'm sure we can find plenty of uninhabited places if we look. No. She shook her head ever so slightly. Look at my arms. Uh, your, your arms? Is this gonna lead to something? I'm outside in the hot sun every day, and I'm not the slightest bit tanned. Her arms, face, ne nape of her neck, Sean's skin was as fair as could be. That's just how you're built. No, I'm pretty sure people tan. I learned that for the first time after coming here. Since almost no sunlight shined in the room at the research facility, she smiled faintly. I've come to realize many things for the first time since I started living with you. This is an important place for me. It became an important place. Aww. She unshifted her attention to the window. She, a smile, still hung on her face. How deep, un, her deep, unwavering gaze stared off into the distance as if she were looking into the whole into a whole other world. Oh well, yeah, she's looking back into the past. I believe the world I stood on tiptoe to see out my window that day in my childhood, oh so long ago. Was connected to this place. When this long, long existence of mine finally comes to a stop, this is where I will be when the world comes to an end. This will be my resting place. I'm, 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 I'm cool with that. Sean let go of my sleeve. The encroaching silence hurt my ears just a little. I want you to be free, huh? I was no longer a soldier. But I was still trying to be her guard. This was all I had. My life held no other meaning. Why don't you just try to be her friend? Then you'll have meaning. Just where does this desire to protect her come from? I wish I knew. Dude. Dude. Come on. How? How dense are you? 
It's because you love her, dude. We all know this. You know this, I know this. Uh, waking up in the morning. I let out a small yawn, patting my cheeks gently to get rid of my drowsiness. That works on you? Dude, I have to slap myself in the face to wake up in the morning. After I woke up, I washed my face in the bathroom, but my head was still a little fuzzy. That, dude, you need the coffee. I was sleep deprived due to yesterday's events. In other words, because of Maya Tono. She brought nothing but trouble. I knew you were trouble when you walked in. Shame on me, yeah. I calmed my heart, which was nearly running wild, and looked out the window. I could hear birds chirping outside as the bright morning light shined through. The weather was nice, and it looked like it would be another peaceful day on the mountain. I closed my eyes, listened carefully to the hush of the wind and the rustling of the trees, and tried to drive away the rest of my drowsiness. And there it goes. Peace of mind is gone. Let me out! <sighs> Please, I can't take it anymore! Good grief, she's such a noisy woman first thing in the morning. I shouldn't... I shouldn't have locked her up far I should have locked her up far away enough that I couldn't hear her yelling. Shion was still asleep, too. If she made too much noise, she'd wake Shion. And we already know that you shouldn't wake Shion. Bah. I clicked my tongue and turned to the door. <sighs> okay. Let's go take care of this girl. Uh, I'm alive again! When were you ever not alive? She downed the cup of water in one gulp and took a deep breath. Maya's first demand had been, after being released from the storeroom, was a glass of water. Dude, girl, all we have is cups. We don't got no glasses. The air had apparently been so stagnant in the nearly airtight storeroom that she had trouble breathing. I seriously thought I was gonna die. <laughs> that's the... That's a pretty mediocre comment for a reporter. I just thought this moment returned... <laughs> I just this moment returned from the abyss! There's no way I can come up with anything insightful. You're overreacting. It wasn't that bad. Anyone would crack if you tied them up and neglected f for the entire night. Eh. Don't shout! You wake Shion, then she'll kill me, and then you. Oh, sorry. Maya chuckled, uh, her uh, clunked herself on the head. Her demeanor just seemed way too innocent. Well, some people are just naturally innocent. Like I, that, that's what I have seen. Although most of people either have that innocence destroyed or they grow out of it but some people stay naturally just innocent and perky like this for a long time if this were all an act uh, that would prove to be a problem but you know i think you overdid it warrant officer harana you uh, left rope marks all over my fair maiden's soft skin Unfortunately, I didn't have anything more sensible, like handcuffs. Uh, on that note, not, I'm not a soldier anymore either. So stop calling me warrant officer. So can I just call you Har Haruna? Mm, do as you please. I didn't care wh no, what she called me. No matter how this uh, panned out, we weren't likely to be acquainted for long. We're going to be acquainted for long, aren't we? By the way, did you untie me because you believe me? I don't have a single reason to trust you right now. However, there's nothing you can do to us. I confiscated all her luggage, weapons included, and, also, and already destroyed her communicator. I wouldn't have destroyed it, I would have just taken it apart, because you could have used that for, for, for parts, just in case you needed something. She wouldn't be able to harm us in any way as long as I kept my eyes on her. I'm a journalist, even Shion's heard of, so why don't you trust me just a little? 
Because I've never heard of you, that's why. There's no telling how two-faced reporters and the like can be. You represent a sketchy trade. No offense to any reporters out there. That sounds awfully prejudiced to me. Let's get this misunderstanding cleared up right away. Alrighty. The reason I was able to find you in Shion, or perhaps I should say, the reason I guessed you were here is because I had a source. A source? Who? Who was this source? After more, momentarily taking a peek at my face, Maya eventually opened her mouth. Second Lieutenant Lavia. Uh, it was Lavi! She was your source? Oh no, that could be trouble. It was, it was Lavi? I've been investigating Shion for a long time now. To be honest, I knew she. Uh, you were. I knew where she was, too. Research facility number 703, right? It was a lot of trouble to investigate it since it's not an official installation. But yeah, I managed somehow. I am a pro, for the record. So recently, I successfully got in contact with 2nd Lieutenant Lobby, who was deeply involved with Xion. This was certainly a twist. One might say it was a M. Night Shyamalan moment. No. I wouldn't go that far. No, we won't go that far. Don't go that far. Never go full retard. Uh, but I don't feel... I did feel more like... Uh, more than a little surprise that Lobby's name had come up. Second Lieutenant Lobby was assigned to the same post as you at Research Facility Number 703, correct? And Lobby and I... And lo the lobby I knew was a warrant officer, though. Wait, did she, got did she get promoted? There was a bit of an uproar at research facility number 703 a few months ago, right? Oh? I'm surprised you got a hold of that intel. Well, there was always an... In there will always be information leaks. A unit was formed to clean up the aftermath. And Second Lieutenant Lobby was appointed commander. Oh no, that that can't be good. Since there was nobody else qualified, she was uh, exonerated for examination and promoted to Second Lieutenant. Of course, it it's not really that unusual with how sloppy the army is nowadays. The unit that was formed must be Shion's pursuit unit. Dead on. You're exactly right. Lavi knew about Xion and me to some extent, and to make matters worse, her record was uh, irreproachable. I guess it was obvious the upper brass would assign Lavi to tracking duty. Lavi's promotion isn't all that odd, but she does. But why does she know where we are? That part. It's something I don't know very well either. No, never mind the details. I, I don't care. I don't care. Even though I, I really do care. If Lobby knows we're here, why didn't she come herself? Uh, I don't know that either. Of course you don't. That part is crucial. You really don't know? Don't you lie to me, girly. Uh, please don't make such a scary face. I'll make as many scary faces as I want. Maya was looking a little distraught. I'm not. This is my normal face! See? I can smile! <laughs> See? Well, it is scary. It's even scarier than it looked yesterday when you pointed that gun at me. Is this really your normal face? That doesn't matter. I got no intention of harming you in any way right now. You understand that, don't you? Mm, it's true, but it's entirely likely you'll do something to me after I've told you everything. This is a possibility. That depends on what you say. If you only came here to collect information, then you shouldn't have anything to hide. Second Lieutenant Lobby also told me... Told me... Told you what? 
Maybe if I... Maybe if I stopped interrupting her, she would actually tell me. She said, Warrant Officer Haruna is a dreadful man. So be careful. Aw, she still loves me. Hmm, that was some blunt advice. But she was right. You really are scary. At least I don't go around, like, pointing knives at people for no reason. <laughs> Maybe I was a little uh, agitated. If I, if I thought about it logically, this young lady uh, couldn't do anything by herself. It may, it may be a little uh, natural to distrust her, but I'd gone a little too far. I better get my head straight and hear out with a clear, uh, hear her out with a clear head. Hmm. After thinking it through a little, I suddenly heard something. Huh? What? Yeah. What is it? Looks like Shion's awake. I'll listen, the, I'll listen to the rest later. Oh, at first I thought it was gonna be something bad. I was gonna be like, oh no. You stay here. Don't run away. <laughs> Maya glared at me and stuck her tongue out. Uh, out all the... For all she was worth. This girl, she was lacking any uh, apathy... It, uh, it was downright oh. funny. Hey, it's not nice. Uh, oh, hi. yes? She drew back her tongue and answered. Is Lavi doing well? Huh? huh? Answer my question. Yeah, she seemed well. It doesn't look like she was having any trouble moving her hand or anything. Because, you know, she, she messed it up pretty bad. I was the one who sliced her up that wrist, after all. The wound shouldn't have been very deep, but I had no way of knowing how bad it would actually be. Hmm. hmm. Meyer stared at me at, with a look of great interest. So what is it? What do you want? Mm. Mm. She was completely fine. We ate together once and she used her chopsticks without issue. Okay, I see. It's kind of good to know. I was surprised at how uh, uh, revot uh, how rev I can read how relieved that made me feel. I just couldn't think of the word there for a second, which means it's probably getting around that time I should stop. But uh, I had hurt and killed many people. What was I doing? Uh, acting uh, like a good guy and worrying about someone for. How ludicrous can I get? You can get super ludicrous, man. Oh, that's right. That's right. I summarized the second lieutenant's warning earlier, so let me add on a little. What is it? Maya smiled at me sweetly as I cocked my head. Warrant Officer Haruna is a dreadful person. But... But, he's actually kind, so, so you don't have to be afraid of him, is what she said. Rubbish. Bullcrap. Damn you, Lavi! You were b putting it, what are you putting into people's heads? That's pretty snide, catching someone who you fought to kill, then calling them kind. She really was uh, one hell of an idiot. Yeah. Oh. Oh. Okay, we're coming in! But we're going to come in in the next episode, guys. Alrighty, I hope that you enjoyed this episode. Like and favorite if you've enjoyed. Subscribe, of course, if you feel inclined to. Check out some other videos that I've done. I do a lot of them to entertain you guys. Be sure to be a good person. Tip your waitresses. Keep moving forward. I'll see you guys next time. I'm out there in YouTube land. Yeah, yeah.